we will show you four short short presentations uh, because we we don't have enough experience uh, about talking English. I'm not so good to speak English. Uh, first, uh, Darashi. Good afternoon, <laughs> everyone. My name is Yoji Shidara. I'm oh, sorry. My name is Yoji Shidara. I'm an end user of Ruby programming language. Even if you feel my presentation so bad, you should come back to later because next speaker is Yugi Yunov, the Ruby 1.9 release manager. So my talk is about from Japanese uh, mobile web world to Latin one developers. I'm going to talk about encoding of Japanese mobile, mobile phones. My name is Yoji Shidara, and I'm working at Enish Tech, brand new and founded at July of this year, small company with a small office. <laughs> <laughs> Here, I, I want to share the secret of my, uh, our company name for my self-introduction. Enishi is one of my favorite Japanese words. Um, it is difficult to, um, it's difficult word to describe in one word in English, but it implies relationship and link, bond, and fate, and chance, and so on. Of course, tech is for technology. They are what we value. Again, we are from Japan. I'm from Sapporo, and they from Tokyo. Sapporo is a beautiful provincial city of Japan, and delicious foods are waiting for you, <laughs> so please visit Sapporo. And let me introduce my works. Um, Bazda, a real-time trends tracker for Twitter, built by Fuji. It supports both Japanese and English. Um, please write. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And JP Mobile, and what I'm going to talk about now, JP Mobile is a rare plugin for Japanese mobile phones. We need this because Japanese mobile phone specifications are almost chaos. <laughs> JP Mobile absorbs these chaotic specifications. Today in this talk, I'm going to take you to a <laughs> chaotic world, recommable. By the way, uh, we have kinds of characters uh, like this. Uh, this means I'm so nervous at San Francisco. <laughs> um, we have lots of characters. Uh, these are all um, name of fish, names of <laughs> fish. <laughs> Not only characters, but also encodings. We have um, four major encodings to encoding, encode Japanese characters. Well, UTF-8 is not the only option, even in some this modern age. We're still using these encodings. Uh, Ruby 1.9 works nice for this situation. For example, uh, Ruby 1.8, we programmers must care about the encoding of our strings, but Ruby 1.9 <coughs> do for us. What we have to do is to tell the encoding of string and tell the string we want, uh, encoding we want. Ruby cares. Now we are happy with Ruby 1.9 in most cases. Do you know emoji or emoticon? Emoji in Japanese, A means picture and emoji means character. So emoji is emoticon and emoji makes the situation worse. <laughs> You know, we have three major mobile phone carriers in Japan, and they define their own emoticon character set, different character set. For example, these emoticons look same, but has many cores. One, two, three, four, five, seven, <laughs> eight. <laughs> and so this, that combination is multiplied. That's not all. 
I have five more sad stories to <laughs> share with you. The first, uh, sometimes the corresponding emoticon is not available on the other carriers. For example, Snow Crystal is defined AU emoticon <laughs> character set, but it is not defined on, at Docomo and SoftBank. And the uh, se second story, uh, nuances may be lost during the translation. Sometimes things like this may happen. Uh, Mr. A, 20-year-old office worker in Tokyo said that really nonsense, but I had a query with my girlfriend because of a problem with mobile phones. <laughs> Sad story. <laughs> <laughs> and third one, <laughs> machine readable tables are not published. Table. He is providing the specification in PDF only. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Docomo and SoftBank provides how to scrape HTML only. Um, next, the official tables are not complete because the emoticons of prior company name are hidden. So we can't get complete table. And the last story, assignment of Unicode private area are partially overlapping between two carriers because they have to be private. So to cope with this situation, I wrote JP Mobile. JP Mobile cares them automatically, and not only emoticons, JP Mobile have many features we need. So let me conclude my talk. If you are asked to build a website for Japanese mobile phones, just say no. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is the best answer. <laughs> or use JP Mobile, but still hard way is remaining <laughs> to achieve your work, so I can't recommend that. And for future work, I want to re-implement JP Mobile uh, emoticon conversion library on the basis of Ruby 1.9 <coughs> materialization framework. Thank you. Um, thank you. Please keep your oh sorry. Please keep your questions in your mind until the last speaker speaker finished. One more thing. Please visit Sapporo, and we have a regional Ruby card two weeks later. <laughs> thank you. Uh, okay. Uh, he shows uh, uh, he shows a problem. Uh, Ruby one point nine is the answer. Everything I must say is help. <laughs> That's all.
Before starting the, uh, my presentation, uh, I'd like to introduce my, myself. My name is Yuki Sonoda, uh, also known as Yogui. Uh, I, I have used Ruby uh, about nine years. Rails, four years. And I have, um, I have managed release of Ruby since June. My Twitter account is this. My blog is here. Please subscri subscribe. Today's summary. First. I'll show, show you the situation we have. Next, my analysis. Next, uh, solution, solution, I think. Finally, I'll, uh, I'll ask you a request. Uh, this is the end of the summary. Let's begin. At first, situation. Uh, there are many issues about Ruby. <laughs> but developers are too few. Uh, 89% of uh, I, uh, issues, issues were fixed by only 10 developers. 67% were done only five developers. This shows that. Uh, novel. Nobuyoshi, okay. Nobuyoshi Nakada is top, uh, top committer. Uh, uh, this third percentage is, mm, but this is improved. At August, on, on August, this was 92%. This improved to 87%. Uh, same as. Ruby seems, uh, Ruby seems to be a cathedral project. But I think uh, it must be a project. Uh, now Ruby is a cathedral project. I don't think this is not good situation. Why? Uh, Ruby is mm, so important for me, for you. Ruby must be usable. Ruby keep stable. Uh, Ruby must keep stable. Uh, we know how to make such pro such a project, given enough eyeballs, all bugs are shallow. So Ruby must be uh, Ruby must be our uh, buzzer project. Next, my analysis. Uh, what the problem? I think Japanese and English. Language barrier. Uh, checking what the uh, uh, all of the t uh, ten top committers are Japanese. They live in Japan. They speak in Japanese, so they talk about Ruby in Japanese. On the other hand. Uh, uh, here's the log 
uh, he has a lot of IRC, and they, they are talking about Ruby, uh, this channel, like this. Most of you, uh, most of, I think most of you don't speak Japanese, so this is not kind for you. Uh, they are all Japanese, so uh, the Ruby is developed. Uh, Ruby is developed uh, in Japanese, but uh, this prevents mm, extend uh, extend uh, the number of developers. Next, how to bre break this situation? At first, from it, new coming great committers change uh, is uh, mm, great great committers are changing this situation. Aaron, uh, he is improving PL and YAML library and Mark Andrew. Uh, he, uh, he, ha uh, he has fixed a stack of bugs. On the other hand, from chicken, uh, I, I have continued uh, uh, effort to this uh, disclosure and sy uh, systemize systemizing uh, development process of Ruby. Uh, I uh, I'd like to talk about it. I created Redmine Ruby Lang Org. This shows you uh, what the committers do, uh, is doing about Ruby. And I wrote uh, many document documentations about the um, development process. And I am now doing I am I am nego uh, ne negotiating uh, to set to set up test beds and this site Ruby test of uh, this uh, this will be. Uh, like is it Ruby one one nine dot all? I hope mm, you will report uh, the re your result of building Ruby. Uh, rep uh, this is the place to do. Uh, to do it. So next, finally, I want to do uh, request to you. Help. Uh, many things you can. There are many things you uh, you can do for Ruby writing documentation and the official site is maintained by volunteers but mm, not enough and bug report if you find the bug 
please report to the red mine. And build report. If you build a lobby, please report on the uh, to this site. And stack. Uh, do you know lobby spec? Lobby spec is a uh, uh, Langen's definition of Ruby written in, in a syntax like R spec. Uh, I'm I'm trying I'm trying uh, complete making a complete language de definition and work with Ruby 1.9 with uh, Ryan Ford. He, uh, I think he is the leader of Ruby spec. And please, uh, I'll soon release Ruby test of Please use it. Um, I need more library maintenance. Uh, for my detail, Ruby core, uh, this made. Oh, there are many libraries which has, which has, uh, which does not does not have maintainer. I need uh, I need maintainer uh, for them. And I offer uh, on on not ch on uh, IRC channel this. Uh, we can talk about Ruby at here. Conclusion, help. <laughs> and try Ruby 1.9 immediate, immediately. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, um, sorry. <laughs> okay, the next comes Asakusa RB. Hello, my name is Akira Matsuda. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Um, I'm gonna talk about what is Asakusa RB and where, why, who, how, what, and conclusion in 10 minutes. Let's see if I can, if I can finish all of them within 10 minutes. 10 minutes, do I have 10 minutes? Okay. <laughs> Okay, ah, before we get started, um, let me introduce myself a little bit. My name is Akira Matsuda. You can find me on Twitter at this ID, A underbar Matsuda. And well, I'm an active Rails, um, active contributor for Rails, Ruby on Rails project. And actually ranked in um, on number 12, active, number committer as um, this year, in this year. Um, well, I'm gonna talk about this later on. Um, and I'm a, the founder of asakusa.rb. I think probably you have never heard about this, so I'm gonna explain. Well, about asakusa.rb. 
Saxa RB is, as you see, Asaksa plus RB. It's a regional Ruby brigade um, who was founded with deeply respect on the Seattle RB um, on the last year. Where, where is Asaksa? Where exactly is Asaksa? Do you know where exactly is Asaksa? <laughs> Thank you. Um, Asaksa is uh, part of Tokyo City, mm -hmm. and it's a very ancient, old historical city in the very east part of Tokyo. It is it's famous by um, a, lot of, a lot of old temples and festivals and things like that. Very good old Japanese things. And well, this is the symbol of Asaksa and Asaksa RB. It's a splendid, very good looking gate called Kaminarimon. And we have a lot of good thing, good foods in Asaksa, like uh, tempura, sukiyaki, yakiniku, unagi, soba, sushi. Uh, shall I repeat that? Um, <laughs> tempura, sukiyaki. Yakiniku, unagi, soba, sushi, and a lot more. Um, so you should visit if you like Japanese food, genuine Japanese foods. Well, so now you knew Asakusa. Then next, I'm going to tell you why Ruby in Asakusa. Um, there is a city called Ruby City in Japan. Uh, its name is Matsue. Because Matt lives there. It's a mecca of Ruby. And we have yet another Ruby city. <laughs> it's, it is Asakusa because um, lots of famous, I think, important person, Ruby person li lives there. Um, who? Like, like, um, Mr. Koichi Sasada-san, who is the author of Yarf, and Shintaro Kakutani-san, who produces Ruby Kaigi, um, Goto-san, who is the author of Webrick Web Server, and Nobu Nakada, as um, Yugi-san des describes, yes, he's known as the Patch Monster, and Maiha-san, who is a great Rails hacker, Urabe-san, who owns, uh, I'm sorry, um, who uh, maintains Ruby 1.8, uh, a little more, and uh, people like that. And me, um, myself is not that uh, super hacker like these people at this moment. But I live there. So um, then how is Asakusa RB managed by, and uh, organized by these people? I'm going to show you how we rock. We have meetups almost every Tuesday on Ruby Tuesday, and somewhere in Asakusa. Um, we hack together something related to Ruby. And we have mailing list and chat and IRC channel um, and wiki um, online, but I'm sorry, it's only for Japanese. All the contents are written in Japanese, but, but I think it's a, it doesn't mind, it's okay because um, Asakusa RB is a regional Rubyist group. <laughs> I'm sorry. And we have a lot of extra events like sukiyaki party, hanami party, and hanabi party. This is hanami. Well, so, <laughs> what do we really do as a hack in Asakusa RB? What we did is um, Ruby. Ruby and Rails and Ruby spec. We played with Ruby and Rails and we uh, did some work on Ruby spec. Well, what I mean by hack Ruby is mainly Ruby 1.9 trunk. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, it, we give uh, the newest Ruby version a try and not at all. And um, with proper, we have since we have Koichi san or Patch Monster and people like that, we um, they can give us the proper advice 
So we, um, you know, discuss about Ruby's feature or find it bug, bug and you know, fix it if it's broken. You know, it's so exciting. And we work on Ruby and Rails. Um, And actually, we wrote several patches for Rails and Ruby. And since it's uh, some of them were uh, released under my credit, um, that's why I got rate, ranked in the, in the active committer in Rails. And we did, started committing to Ruby spec since last month. Conclusion? We got an RB in Asakusa. And we are having fun. We're making Ruby better. So, well, what I mean by we're having fun is, um, well, you are having fun now because um, this room is filled by Rubyists now. <laughs> if you take a look at your right, you'll find a rubies. And if you take a look at the left, you'll find another rubies. It's very happy. <laughs> so, um, imagine how happy if, if you can bring this atmosphere back to your hometown. Isn't it exciting? So, we're happy now. How can we share this happiness amongst the rubies in all, all the world? I have two suggestions, spread and visit. Spread don't RB. You are not, not alone. We have all uh, Ruby friends like this in all over the world. So, and you can find probably another inner neighbor. So, ha hack with them together as your hometown. And let's just name it somewhere dot RB. I think you don't have to be the best hacker in, in your town because um, I'm the one um, somehow managing that. So you can do that, I think. The only thing you need is the passion to do it, to, uh, to do something towards Ruby, as yugui san said. So, um, Actually, we got some dot .ruby other than Asakusa RB, like this. It's gradually um, growing in Japan. So what I like to say is, everybody, let's, let's hack, Ruby, hack Ruby. You know that Seattle RB rocks, and now you know Asakusa RB also rocks. <laughs> I want to see you, how you rock. Thank you. And, and next, next point, visit. If you visit Japan, don't forget to visit Asakusa and visit us. We're, in, uh, we're having a meetup every Tuesday. So you're wel welcome to join. And, and then visit each other RV in the world, um, isn't it? Exciting if we had uh, if you visit San Francisco this Frisco dot RB if you visit visit London this London dot RB and you can find some someone to hack together in that city. Isn't it very exciting? Thank you. I have only five minutes. There, <laughs> talk too much. <laughs> but, but it's okay. So my English is 
pretty broken. And my, my message is very simple. So you should attend Ruby Kage 2010. Yes. Hi. Uh, my name is Sintaro Kakutani. I am coming to you from Ruby Kage uh, in Tokyo, Japan. I'm a member of Asakusa Ruby. Uh, last year, I gave lightning talk uh, about same topic. Uh, that was my first presentation in English, and today is second time. <laughs> oh, thank you. And same topic. <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, I'm one of Ruby Kagi organizers. Uh, why I'm here? Uh, yes, Ruby Kagi. According to the Ruby and Rails ecosystem white paper, we are listed on regional conference. Uh, thanks to you for this one. Uh, they say, technically, this is an international event, but uh, it's held in Japan with <laughs> major uh, and blah, blah, blah. Uh, sorry. It's considered here as a regional conference. Uh, Ruby since 2006, uh, well grounded Ruby snows. Uh, Kaigi means conference or meeting in Japanese. Uh, you are well grounded. <laughs> and we, have, we also have regional Ruby Kaigi, uh, 13 Kaigis in nine cities in 70 months. Uh, very, very, Taksan, Yarimashita. Of course, we have. <laughs> Reject Kaigi. <laughs> yes. Uh, testimonials. Uh, David Thomas says Ruby Kaigi is wonderful. And Ruby Kaigi was awesome. Uh, Lays, uh, Lays Magazine, uh, says, uh, they say, highly recommended. <laughs> and so, uh, Ruby Kaigi 2010. Uh, we held three days, uh, end of August 2010, at Tsukuba, uh, Ibaraki, Japan. Uh, so I'm sorry for uh, conflict with schedule. Uh, Lone Star, Lone Star 2010. Uh, sorry. Uh, the venue is uh, not so far from Tokyo uh, or Narita, uh, same place as uh, Ruby Kage 2008. And so uh, we'd like to make Ruby Kage more international uh, to be a gateway for communities uh, from Western to Eastern. <laughs> and from Eastern to Western. So we need more known Japanese speakers, attendees, and sponsors. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and so I'll show you non-Japanese speakers on uh, 2009. Uh, 18 people. Uh, they, uh, all of them, uh, submitted a presentation proposal. Uh, yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And so, uh, at first year in 2006, only one English talk by DHH. We are now 18. Mm, great. And non Japanese attendees are, uh, oh, sorry, growing. Uh, and they come from uh, worldwide, uh, except uh, South America and Antarctica. <laughs> and Non-Japanese sponsors, not yet, but <laughs> we are welcome. <laughs> <laughs> and when you come to Ruby Kagi, uh, you can meet with uh, legendary Japanese Rubies, uh, like Charles did. And uh, of course, Matt is here. <laughs> uh, yeah, OK. <laughs> so, and he's here <laughs> in <laughs> Ruby Kan. Uh, but you don't know how great his Japanese is. Uh, <laughs> you can see that in Japan. And we are uh, nice goods, uh, so, like these 
dishes are illustrated by Y. Uh, so we are at loss for what to do next. <laughs> this year's t-shirt design. <laughs> uh, so looking forward to meeting with you in Ruby Kagi. Uh, summarize. Uh, Ruby Kagi is uh, great, uh, wonderful, uh, awesome, highly recommended. Uh, <laughs> we'd like to make international, so we need no Japanese speakers, attend attendees, and sponsors. Uh, Ruby Kagi 2010, uh, we held end of August 2010. Uh, look forward to meeting with you, uh, Ruby Kagi. Uh, contact to, uh, 2010 at rubykagi.org, uh, hash Ruby Kagi on Twitter, and we'll make announcement on Ruby Talk. Uh, thanks. Thank <laughs> So, uh, do you have any questions? No? Okay, okay that's it. Thanks.